Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market. So today as usual we have prepared the weekly report where we have taken a look at the banking crisis, which actually we think that's now silenced just because in, mostly in the media, but it doesn't mean that it has disappeared. So now just um, market society is more focused on Fed meeting, activity of the United States Treasury on the drawing the liquidity out of the market. but. The crisis processes are not actually disappeared and they're just going. And uh, we think that very soon, once the, all this actually rush around the Fed meeting and the European Central Bank meeting will just lay down a bit, the problems of the crisis processes will come on the surface once again. And uh, shortly speaking, with the problems that uh, Treasury right now has, it's a really big deficit on the liquidity. It's uh, well the, the the managed artificial artificially managed uh, banking crisis is very comfortable tool to resolve many problems, and uh, that's the subject that we also covered in uh, in the report. Additionally, we have taken a look at a few signs of the ALCO strategy. Just we think that uh, well, privately it's not officially covered in the headlines in the media but privately it is started it seems that some agreement between the political elite inside of the united states have been achieved it's just because uh, the pace of the industrialization that we see right now in the united states i mean production uh, man manufacturing industrialization not the social industrialization um, now we're showing the pace that haven't been seen well actually probably Never. And that makes me think that uh, this uh, strategy, this plan is already is underway. Besides, as you know, recently Joe Biden has met the Sunak and they have discussed the cooperation uh, bill between the two countries. It's very important. So also, I think that the two parts of the same puzzle. So all this stuff in mind, uh, we're just taking a look at some specific on some numbers led us to conclude that mostly confirmed what we said previously that hardly we will count on a rally in the gold market in the nearest six months until actually uh, United States Treasury will execute the plan on the satisfying of the budget spendings so and when this process will come to an end gradually, we should get the first fruits and that will be the turning point for the gold, by our view. Where the gold will appear at this moment, difficult to say, but currently gold holds punch very well. So it actually stands even not at the 30% pullback, chose very small pullback. It stands very significantly higher than the 1850, 1860 area, which is actually yearly pivot point. Yes, we are should be we should be ready for some wobbling and uh, choppy action on the gold but it might be not too lower than compared to where it stands right now so besides we should not uh, accept maybe some surprisings especially in the geopolitical arena so we really could come and play as well which might be also gold supportive so i'm just speaking on the background of the facts that we do know uh, but uh, surprises are really could happen especially in the current situation that we living right now so speaking on the short term uh, actually i think that we, we, we are going to start with the same scenario that we have finished the recent week so we discussed on friday and thursday so we have short term bullish uh, context so we have the engulfing on the daily Retracement that we talked about just has started. We have the bullish MACD. So from this, this point of view, we have bullish context on the daily chart. 
which at least makes possible for the market to retest the same resistance around 1990 area. So that will be hardly will be some problem. This in turn leads us to the same picture that we have discussed on Friday. Recall the existence of the XOP suggests that sooner or later, but market still should show some leg down that we suggest still depend on this bar of flag shape. In the meantime, we're focused on this minor hand and shoulders pattern that we actually discussed on Friday. Currently, everything's going with the plan. As you can see, right arm is forming. And take a look here as the May City predictor is come and play. So on the beginning of the next week, keep watch for possible bullish grower. Once it will be formed, this will be a great addition to the bullish context. So you also could use for stop placement and other things. So this might be important to done to overall bullish scenario. On the hourly chart, everything stands as well accurately. So with the plan, I do not see any really big problems. So we're considering downside retracement and we have specified an area between the 1952-1955 on Friday. And as you can see, it's already was some spike down that has briefly tested this level, but hardly you were in time to catch this moment. So we currently in general this have this ABCD patch with the perfect OP in agreement around 1952. So that's supposedly also will be the vital point for a bullish context. So market has to hold and stay above it to keep the short term bullish direction. In the case of downside breakout, it means that rally has erased, has been erased and really big chances on a further downward drop. Just keep watching. Also, we should not get anything we, we do not want to see, not we should get. So we do not want to see this type of action. So if you'll see just collapsed right to the OP on Monday, do not take the long position. Because here is the part that bulls should control after the rally. This is perfectly fits this type of action to the bullish uh, sentiment is just because take a look, it's very gradual and slow. That's it how it should be. Uh, everything currently is just perfect and, and see what will happen. So in general, you already you could start thinking about the position taken right around the zero around 1956, 1952, because well, I don't know but the market will reach the OP definitely. It's just the vital point and that's the point where you have to hide the stop. So somewhere below this area if you would like to take the position. The way how you will enter the, the, the amount of risk that you could uh, take, it's very personal, so you have to uh, think about this by yourself. But in general, that's an area where you could start trying to catch the, some bullish reversal. Usually when the market hits some support there, traders turn to the lower time frames, 15 minute chart, for example, and start searching for bullish reversal patterns. Once they will get it, especially if market will give us grubber and especially if we'll complete the op which is preferable that will be completed background for possible taking the long position beers in term now has nothing to do it's just because they will have to wait either for a failure if market will break it down or just completion of the upside target in the way of this abcd that we discussed already it's target of the hand shorts Somewhere around 19, 1990, maybe we will get some bearish signs. We will see. But currently for the bearish, I do not see a lot of things to do.